and welcome back. Uh, someone's knocking at the door. And it, they're, like, really, like, serious about, like, me answering it. <laughs> they're like, yeah, I don't answer this door. Alright, so, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's just get to it. So I really don't want the store to knock anymore. I really kind of wonder who seriously knocks on the door that many times. Like, come on. But, but, what the hell? Alright! At least say I'm coming or something. Like, hey, be right there. Ugh, thank god. Ooh, foxy lady. How's this? Hello, Miss Ashworth. How are you? Are you feeling better? Uh, what? Do I know you? Of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt. Mitzi Hunt? What a weird name. Not fans. We met a few days ago. <laughs> you were out cold at the time. Those pills you had were real good. Oh. You probably had one too many, mind you. That's, uh, chicken fun, kind of, I guess. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. I'll understand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but I had other reasons for it, too. Other reasons? What do you mean? Personal reasons. It's important. That I don't die? It's important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. Hmm. Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. I saw the ad you'd put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. I... They still print that. It was months ago. Nobody ever called. I forgot all about it. I gave up on it, actually. Well, I like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. But... You've got the room and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise and... I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry, but I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I'm kind of like that. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. What do you think? Do we have a deal? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I, I probably don't have a choice, so... Well, I guess I could do with some extra money, but... Great! Yep, nice Can I come in? Transition! You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust I, I, you? I, I know why she did that, so that she can, How should like, I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? That's probably so she can, like, go in the ambulance or something. Jesus, what's wrong with you? Slit your throat? Why are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do such a thing, I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just think about it for a second. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. The ambulance. And I wanted to see if you've made it. Okay. How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Okay, I'll tell you. You, you won't broken. like it, probably, but I'll tell you. You broke in. You smashed the window. You're I like... picked the lock. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was my second guess. You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. I love her My voice. dad was a mass locksmith. So he knew everything there was to know about locks. That he taught me some of that stuff too. Some of that Look, stuff too. Look, got this little box. I always carry it with me. <laughs> this little box. There are a few types of lock picks in it. They're very expensive. Custom made. Oh, how fancy. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. That's it. I'm so ready. I see. 
But you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. It's not important anymore. I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. The noise they made. It was incredible. Like ghosts howling. Then for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. <laughs> well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and knocked the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. That's crazy. A hunch. Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? Damn. This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I slept at the train station last night. Yeah. There's a guy there who docks rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why oh, not go to a hotel then? Money, though. I hate hotels. More than train stations. Yeah, what? With homeless weirdos and rats. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's all right. And he kept the rats away. Um, okay. <laughs> Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it. This flat's falling apart. It's cold. It's dark. It's a bit moldy. <laughs> this is the moldy. old part of town M -O -U -L -D. where nothing ever happens. Moody. It's far from the city centre, and there are only two buses going through here. And that's Central. if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. Ew, I'm not that? exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Well, she's not that Who much older. Who are they? Though. What is she, like 30 or something? 30, 40 maybe? People. Just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. You think they'll smell the rats on me? I really use a shower. Uh, I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I'd love to see it. And I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck and it doesn't shut properly. It's alright. I like fresh air. Yeah, my windows are There's clutter <laughs> everywhere. I'll tidy up. It's got a funny smell. Uh, I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love Jostix. What is Jostix? Like, uh, incense? Fine. I give up. Jostix. Follow I me. Love Jostix. You can see it for yourself <laughs> if you're so stubborn. Which I am. I love my Jostix. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Getting crazy. That's what I'm doing on Saturday night because I'm so cool and I love to party. Party with the cat lady. It's really not that bad, just some boxes. This room is perfect. Really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and someone to watch too. You got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. So anyway, I can contact the references. You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story, though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, all right. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person. But it's a... friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so... Friend of a friend? I don't know what he looks like. I love this lamp. Does it work? She's a leading. What was she I talking about? Leading. Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. Don't we all? Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here altogether. He's in one of them, 
And I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? I just want to talk to him. Lies. He said something really bad. Like him, horrible. So I need to talk to him to get closure, you know? Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. Yep. Lying. I Lying. want to meet face to face with him. Lies. That's all. Lies. <laughs> Are you part of the emo subculture? Uh. You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? No. I don't know. What do serial murderers look like anyway? Scar bar face, or... an eye patch, rough stubble. Those sort of things, I guess. <laughs> well, that's a pirate you've just described. <laughs> just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. <laughs> but who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not yet, anyway. Only killed once, so we have four more. I mean, I doubt that she's one of them. She, she might be like with uh, Liz. Um, I don't know. Is there anyone I can contact for references? No. Well, I've never really rented a room before, so not really. Yeah. I've lived with my mum all my life. Until recently, that is. I could give her a call. Oh, that will be a perfect spot for my post up there. Focus, focus, Mitzi. <laughs> yeah, sh yeah she's sure, that'll be okay. either going to be like a... She's either going to try and kill me, or she's going to change my life. So, I'm hoping she's going to change my life, because, you know, she's cool. At least I think. I don't know. I really have to say that. No, okay. Are you a part of that emo subculture? Please don't say that word ever again. Yeah. No, no, this is just Elliot Smith is how I dress. <laughs> I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that emo crap. Emo. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. Yeah, I'm not a really big fan. Okay. Mm. Clearly a sensitive subject for you. You know, people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're caught with emo. You can't generalize like that. I, I dress in black. It's more well, I dress in black too. Hey, of course. Hey, we're, That's we're because black friends. is the best color. Period. You know, you've been asking me all these questions and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. You barely survived. Yeah. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this, but I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. Life sucks. What made you do that? <laughs> what did you feel? Long story. Won't bore you with this personal crap. Ha ha ha. Right back at me, I guess. I could give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. Just some details. Anyway, I suppose your story is the kind that can't be shortened. Sure. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometimes, I'd love to listen. I like I'll bear that in mind, Mitzi. Let's go back to the living room. The room's great. So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? <laughs> I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. What the fuck is this? What? Miss Ashworth? Are you all right? No. Girl, we got some problems. <laughs> go away. You have to go away right now. But why? Miss Ashworth, what's wrong? Stay away. You're not safe. You're not safe here. You should leave. Now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible is going to happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. I have... I... I knew 
You were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. Calm down. I'm not going to do anything to you, all right? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble, okay? Just take a deep breath. Please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. Then... Maybe... Oh, no. 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 What? Yeah. I know. But how did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Do you possess some kind of supernatural mind treating abilities? Hmm. Or is it just so fucking obvious? I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> I. I don't know how you're going to die, but call it a hunch if you like. Oh my God. That's cool. That's heavy. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. It's already started, as a matter of fact. Do you want to see? I'll show you. See what? Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. Okay, you can you can put it back now. Oh, I I got it. Oh, it sucks. It's got cancer, I guess. I assume anyway. Great. Now I'm. This is so depressing. <laughs> oh, I feel horrible. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, as if things couldn't get any better. I'm so, oh, wow. Now I'm depressed and kidnapped. Wonderful. Things are really looking up for Su Susan right now. Uh, shit. It's time to wake up, my little pussy cat. Matter, sleepyhead. Had a bad dream. Uh, do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> Dang, well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. What do you say? No. Shall I take a good look at this pussy of yours? No. What the f fuck no. Get the hell out. Kick him. Kick him the balls. It doesn't seem like your legs are tied up. Kick him. Touch me and I'll kill you, you sick bastard. Please don't hurt me. No, I'm not being nice. You're a dead man. Yeah, you don't know it. You're a dead man. You just don't know it yet. Yeah, I'll cut your throat open and watch you bleed to death. I'll feed your body to the crows. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna regret this, pal. Yeah. What's going on in there? He's molesting me. <laughs> Said in conduct. <laughs> Who's this? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? Because if you did, I swear to this God. Is, this is the Salad Fingers guy, right? Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're Sounds the like only Cumberdale. girl for me. Hubert Cumberdale. This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. Join us? For so what? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. What is this okay, outfit? Okay, okay. Uh, what is this? What the fuck? 
noise. I was just saying, uh, she, she's here for dinner. Good dinner. I'm starving. And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats. So, let me get this straight. They're eating cats normally, and they're here to eat me? No? You nasty you little whore. Fuck you, trying to seduce my husband in my own home? Yes, I'm trying to... Really? How really? bloody really? rude. Yes, I'm trying... Look, I, I'm trying to seduce your husband while I'm being tied to a chair. Yeah, sure. Okay. Who the fuck are you, bitch? Who the fuck are you? Shut up, you stupid bitch! Fuck you! I know what you're up to. Yes, I'm up to so much, you psycho. You kept staring I at him wait to kill with her. these big green <laughs> eyes. You want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? Yes, I totally want want your fucking psycho. Well, I've got just the thing. <laughs> yes. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. You won't need these eyes and this face much longer anyway. What? I should walk like that. What the fuck? Ah, close your eyes, Susan. This fucking... Ooh, well, I'm sorry, but, like, I'm a girl, so, like, if I, like, say, like, like I'm sorry, but... This, no this one will do down. it right <laughs> if you don't do it yourself. It's going down. Ugh. Again, sorry for the potty mouth. I know it's bad, but I'm so used to talking this way. Sorry. I, I, this bitch, though, is going down. Like, come on. Really? Ugh, I'm mad. Like, I'm actually really mad. <laughs> Uh, oh, and the cat! What? I'm stuck there. Okay, I get it. Alright, I'm gonna end here. Uh, we're gonna see what happens with this bitch and this awesome cat, and uh, we're gonna see what happens next time. Alright, bye guys.